Welcome to the Marketing for the Culture podcast, powered by the African American Marketing Association. Each week, we'll bring you an insightful conversation from some of the best experts in our industry on how to advance our career. Join the collective of Black marketers across the world, advancing their brand as we work towards creating a collaborative community. Hey, good people. Welcome back to the Marketing for the Culture podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Gomez, and I am riding solo today, solo dolo. And I thought it was best that I ride solo because I'm going to do a recap. I'm going to do a recap. Uh, first and foremost, the day of this recording is September 21st, and we are 75, um, 75% through the year. But I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you to you, the listener, uh, the AMA member, the supporter of the podcast, the supporter of the organization. Uh, thank you for everyone that attended Marketing for the Culture Summit in May. Um, I would like to think I said it then, but if I haven't, <laughs> um, definitely want to say thank you now. Uh, thank you for all of the attendees, the volunteers, the sponsors, the supporters, um, the gathering spot, um, my team. Uh, thank you for all of the people that I've been able to connect with from that day and just creating um, relationships Um, because that's what it's about, right? We go to these events and yes, we need to learn, but we also need to meet new people and we need to pour into those people and those people should pour into us, you know? And uh, that event has been a blessing. Um, So although I'm recording this now, uh, t- please listen to Nadia Sharice's episode that also came out today, September 21st. Um, I actually met her at the event. I've been following her for the past, I guess, four months, five months or whatever, and um, decided to interview her because she's killing it in the marketing game. And I'm not for sure when our paths would have crossed um, if it wasn't for the Marketing for the Culture Summit. So we did a really dope episode and then we did an IG live on her page um, the other day. And that's what it's about. It's about, you know, connecting with people, following their journey. It's like, not only are you dope, but I see the dope stuff that you're doing, you know. So let's share platforms. Let's cross promote each other on our platforms. So yeah, be sure to check out her episode, follow her in general. Uh, and just really a special shout out. I feel like we've had some great interviews um, the past, I guess, four to six weeks. Um, starting, <laughs> we had two Michaels back to back. So special shout out to um, Michael Ramirez talking about SEO. I thought that was a great conversation on SEO. Um, I always say SEO is not the sexy thing, but it's an important thing uh, when it comes to uh, marketing, um, especially getting that traffic to your website. A great, um, I guess, I want to say the great compliment to ads, but organic should always be first, in my opinion. Uh, but make sure you check out that interview, Michael Ramirez on SEO. Um, after that, I think we had Michael Thomas. Um, and I've been knowing this brother for several years. It's been a pleasure watching him grow in his business. And the title of this episode, because, uh, you know, we were talking, obviously, in the interview. And he was like, look, you know, there's a, I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, there's a lot of great creative agencies and, you know, we're equally good. And he was like, you're not selling creativity. You know, it's really about how are you solving the problem? Um, and are you doing that effectively, efficiently? Are you able to speak the language that that potential client, you know, understands? And it was just a really, really dope episode. So be sure to check that, check that out, especially if you're a creative, a graphic designer, um, video and you're like, okay, do I want to manage an agency? Do I want to manage people? I think he's a definitely a good episode to listen to. And then we had, uh, Mark Pittman. Oh, 
I absolutely adore Mark. He has been a great support of the podcast, even sponsored um, episodes for the month of August. And I, I always feel like anytime I have these conversations, especially interviews, um, they always come like someone says something that you you have to hear. You're supposed to hear in that moment. And we just had a great conversation when it comes to leadership, you know, and I have definitely <laughs> had my um, journeys, you know, of spearheading this organization and this is probably one of the biggest things that has allowed me to learn about myself. Um, you know, self-awareness, EQ, managing people, galvanizing the troops, you know, not just the team, but the audience to really understand and follow the vision and the mission of this organization. And Mark just has great insight when it comes to the leadership journey. Um, so another stellar episode. He has a coaching program he was promoting. I know it's already started, but I do want to say, please check him out. Please check out his work. Listen to the episode. Check out his work um, and just take the next few weeks and months to follow him and then support him. He's written numerous books um, and his next coaching program should start in January. But you have to do your homework now to figure out who is the right fit for you when you are ready to make a move. And if you are a leader, whether it's your business or maybe a manager within an organization, um, I would definitely, definitely look into him and what he's doing. Um, there are so many light bulbs for me during the interview, and I'm sure you'll get a few light bulbs as well. And, you know, let's make sure we support Mark Pittman. He's just phenomenal. I'm going to have to get him on here again. Um, I, I don't even know what we're going to talk about, but I know we're not short of conversation. So there's that. Um, but yeah, so that's the um, recap of the Market for the Culture podcast episodes lately. Um, if you think you would be a great guest, please reach out to me. And go to our website, aa-ma.org. Um, send me an email, info at aa-ma.org. And hey, I would love to chop it up with you and share your insight with our listeners. All right. So another reason why I need to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the supporters. Because this year, uh, Masshead Media um, nominated me, or I was a finalist for... There are Women in Marketing Awards. I was a finalist for Marketing Leader of the Year. And that means a lot to me just because it does take a lot of work, right? A podcast by itself is a lot of work. The association by itself is a lot of work. My business by itself, is all of this is a lot of work. Um, so to be recognized amongst my peers, uh, marketers, women marketers, that means a lot to me. But I know that wouldn't have happened without you supporting me, right? Without you supporting the platform, sharing our information, our episodes and things of that nature to enhance the visibility, the credibility of this organization and the content that's be being created through AMA. So thank you once again for your continuous support. Thank you, Masshead Media. Um, September 29th, next week, Thursday, we have an event. Yes, we have an event. It's a free webinar. All of our stuff is free. I'm really, really excited about this. Listen, I'm a consultant. I take discovery calls all day, emails all day, and proposals all night. <laughs> Right. So if you are in an agency, managing your agency, operating your agency, or maybe you work for a company and you have to do the proposals, that's your responsibility. This is an event, a webinar that you do not want to miss. Um, we're going to discuss winning new business 
with persuasive proposals with Lisa Green and Rachel Thompson. Uh, I'm so looking forward to this event. People are so excited just because of the title alone. So make sure you check it out on Thursday, September 29th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, It is on Eventbrite. We will have the link in the show notes. Um, You can catch on Instagram, LinkedIn. We have it, the flyer there as well. Um, But yeah, you do not want to miss that. Make sure you register. Make sure you register. Make sure you register so you can get firsthand information. You can ask your questions. And then, of course, afterwards, we will have it on YouTube. Okay. All right. So what else? Number three. Um, Last week, I attended Content Marketing World in Cleveland, Ohio, and I must say I had a great time. Uh, First of all, um, Alma had a table there, which was really exciting, and I'm really not a fan of vendor tables, but the people that I met, the conversations that I had were just in they were priceless, you know, and I know I wouldn't have been able to have those conversations on diversity, diversity and marketing without um, having that vendor table. So special shout out to Content Marketing Institute. Um, and as black marketers, like we know this, but we are important. We are needed um, and they're looking for us. They are really looking for us. Quite a few companies said they're hiring. Um, They're intrigued by us being an association, being a nonprofit. You know, these are white men and women that are ready to learn about us, ready to learn from us. And yes, I enjoy doing this work. I enjoy taking up this space, but I can't do it by myself, right? And each of us have something to add. And when you contribute, it you don't have to speak on diversity marketing, right? But you being a Black marketer that focuses on content strategy, that focuses on product description, that focuses on channel marketing, e-commerce, By you being you in that space and contributing to your expertise is so important, it's so needed. And I want to encourage you and give you the confidence to take that expertise outside of the workplace, right? And I know a lot of people want to speak because it's lucrative. That's a whole other podcast. I'm really thinking about getting someone on here as a sidebar, but I want to encourage you to speak as a leader, speak as a role model in the sense that a lot of Gen Z and kids, you know, people younger than Gen Z, they want to get into marketing because they see social media. They see that cool video. Um, But there's a lot of things in marketing that are not sexy. (laughs) And these companies are looking for us and they're paying a lot of money. And you're probably doing that role that's not sexy and you're downplaying it, but someone needs to hear from you so they can know how to get in that industry, so they can know how to get in that company, um, so they know how to have um, transferable skills that they may be in a better position. So I just want to encourage you to speak up and take up space. Um, Let people know who you are, what you're doing, and that they can do it too. All right. That was my TED Talk. So Content Marketing World was great. Um, There was five AMA members there as speakers, including me um, on diversity marketing, Chris Cheatham West on Google Analytics, Boma Cheatham West on audio. I forgot the exact title, but it was basically um, using audio for your social media content. We had Karen McFarlane also talking about DEI, um, how companies can avoid performance 
performance marketing. And then we had John K. Delane speaking on Web3, um, just overall Web3. Um, so it was good seeing them. It was good catching up. Um, I had a chance to attend, I guess, technically three out of the four sessions, if I'm not including mine. Um, and everyone did an amazing job. I, I was just so happy um, that, you know, last year we had two alma speakers. This year was five. I don't even think Content Marketing Institute knows that which is fine, right? That's not important. But just to see the overall growth and representation, um, they had a lot more attendees overall compared to last year coming out of COVID. Um, so with more attendees, definitely more Black attendees, um, Asian attendees. And they are really making an effort to bring diversity to the forefront within these ne- within this niche. Um the diversity, let me let me step back. Um, they had two speakers, black speakers. One to speak on DEI. His presentation was titled something about belonging. Um, he was based in Toronto, never heard of him. Obviously does great work. Um, the other guy is um, something Bonin, um, part of Cleveland Hustle with LeBron James. I wasn't familiar with him, but has had a great career working with CPG, a great energy, great presentation. Um, and then they had the um, comedian Hassan, um, the creator of the Patriot Act on Netflix. He was there and just just great conversation, right? And I think the important thing, you know, once again, when it comes to diversity, we just want to show up, right? A lot of us, unless you decided to specialize in aspects of DEI, a lot of us just want to show up, right? And contribute. And and in that contribution, then we can mention a few things here and there about the importance of diversity. Um, but Everyone had great energy. It was very refreshing. I am super stoked about the conference being in D.C. next year. I'm going to start saving my money. Uh, Hopefully you can attend. Uh, We are going to continue to partner with them. That way we can get that um, 10%, $100, $200 off the conference ticket. Um, But yeah, D.C. next year. I'm excited. And although... I've been to the conference the past two years and the conference has been running for 12 years um, and it's been in Cleveland the whole time. I think a lot of people are just excited about being in D.C. and having freshness, you know, just just newness, new location. I think they're going to have a huge audience. Uh, The content marketing world has... Uh, this year they said they had 25 countries represented at the conference and that was in Cleveland and I know if they're in DC it's just going to be a better commute for those that are international I li- I'm I'm looking forward to it I am what I, I say don't meet me there beat me there right so Alma should definitely be in the building next year content marketing world in DC September 26th through the 28th or 29th, somewhere around there. Let's see. Okay. So the last thing, the last thing is if you want to join the leadership team, if you want to join the leadership team, um, feel free to email me. I know last month we were promoting it light heavy. We had meetings earlier this month. We're getting prepared for our uh, next meeting in October. So if you want to get involved with the association in a leadership capacity, or if you want to help out with the summit um, for next year, please email me. That info is that email address is info at aa-ma.org. And I'll be glad to send you more details. Uh, pretty much when it comes to membership, communication, um, <laughs> um, podcast hosts, definitely looking for someone to help me with the podcast, things of that nature. Um, and then the conference committee is separate just because I know this is a lot of work. So I'm doing my best to kind of separate 
um, responsibilities because I don't want to take advantage of anyone and take up too much time. So once again, if you're interested in serving with the association, uh, please send me an email, info at aa-ma.org. Look, I think that's going to wrap it up. I think this is going to wrap it up. Just wanted to come on here. I have it. I feel like I haven't done a solo episode in years. And I used to do solo episodes all the time when I had networking with Michelle. I did that for five years. But for marketing for the culture, maybe the first episode, I don't even know if the first episode was solo. You know, I've been interviewing people. I was definitely rocking with CL for a good minute. He held the podcast down a lot um, throughout the year. So special shout out to him. But yeah, I haven't recorded some episode in a while. So whew, I just a little rusty, but I gotta shake it off. I might come back next week with something. No, but seriously, um, I am so grateful. I am so grateful for you. Uh, for this platform um, and so many things. It's interesting time, maybe because my birthday's coming up September 25th, but I am grateful. Um, remember, I believe in you. I believe in you. Have a good day. Thank you for listening to Marketing for the Culture podcast. If you haven't already, please subscribe, whether it's on Apple, Google, Spotify, or your favorite podcast platform. And of course, our videos are on YouTube. If you have a moment, feel free to give us a rate, review, or just comment. We appreciate our sponsors for their continuous support. Also, if you're interested in learning more about our sponsors or becoming a member of the African American Marketing Association, visit aa-ma.org.